Hi Aries and welcome to your love story tarot reading for October 2019. Aries, I will go with one storyline in this reading so this will resonate and fit or it will not, okay? Um, also, I just want to give a disclaimer if you feel like this is resonating and you know throughout the month of October this really doesn't unfold like throughout October the first couple weeks of November then, you know, unfortunately the reading probably wasn't for you. I just want to say that because of some comments that I get where people are like, oh yeah, this resonates so much, and it's then they're like, but then it didn't turn out exactly as the reading said. So there might just be a few messages here for you, or the whole thing might be just for you, okay? So Aries, I'm going to start by pulling a card for overall energy of you and whoever else is coming through in your love story. right there and you guys have your Aries full moon on the 13th of October so manifestation time Aries all right so over here we have lessons learned that's a very positive card and on the other side we have twin flame journey all right excellent so Aries right off the bat this is a relationship a connection where one person um, has really woken up, has really thought about themselves, their behavior, and lessons have been learned, okay? However, I can also say with this is it could be that the two of you have, you know, gone through quite a bit and maybe both of you have made mistakes and screwed up and, you know, along, along the course of the journey of your relationship and now coming into October, you guys are really growing and maturing and expanding from everything that you've been through and there's going to be changes in behavior, okay? There's maturity that's taking place and Twin Flame Journey coming out on the other side of this is very beautiful. It's, you know, showing one person is wholeheartedly devoted to this connection, okay? But I really feel instead of talking about one or the other, these energies, which is what I intended, Spirit's bringing more of a message of like uh, the both of you. Um, even though, you know, if both of you didn't kind of make mistakes, if it was predominantly one, the other one who walked more of a straight line has learned and grown and matured through the experience as well. And October, it's like you guys are on the same page, Aries, in regards to your relationship, your connection, where you're headed, what the next step is, what you want to do. It's a very balanced energy there. So let's pull some more cards. All right, right there. That's going to shuffle much more than that, but nope. Okay, so we have Divine Timing. And we have Infatuation. Okay, so uh, this side over here definitely um, is like 100%. I want to make this work. I want to be with you. You're the one I want forever and always. And on this side, this person, it's like they are now starting to come around to that same energy and align uh, with this person where is in the past just because we have lessons learned and divine timing. I don't feel this, this person in the reading was as on board. And usually I define your energy on one side or the other or say feminine and masculine but people don't like that so you've got to decide Aries which side you are resonating with as speaking to you okay because um, I'll just refer to you know this person that person so over here on this side a lot of lessons learned a lot of maturity gained and now is the time where they can, they're actually able and capable of joining this person on the same level emotionally and spiritually. And in between, we have awakened in intimacy. So look at this. This is beautiful. Aries, look at that. Um, you know, I was going to like jump off on another message that just came through when I was holding that card, but I'll uh, you've got to complete the first one. Um, this here, Aries, is talking about, again, that alignment of energy, of connection, emotionally and spiritually. And it's like your physical connection is going to change and improve and grow stronger as well. Now, um, some of you, this may be like a newer relationship that you just got into or somebody you're meeting in the month of October, okay? And with this all coming out like that, you guys are equal energy 
to align with each other. Um, you have the same desires to be in a partnership. It's not like, you know, one person's just pretending to get what they want. It's like your desires, your life goals, your energies, your likes, all of those things. You guys are very compatible and very in alignment with each other as to those things as well as like what you want to achieve in life, okay? And it's time to meet. <clears throat> Excuse me. This side definitely looks to be uh, like more gung-ho than this side. Not to say there's not this equal attraction, but man, one person in this connection is just like, oh, you are everything. The sun, moon, and stars. I just cannot get enough of you or be mine. Um, so very nice, Aries. Because these love stories, like, they really go so many different ways, and yours looks very nice. So let's pull some um, cards for this side of the energy and see what's coming out there. All right, so mind, we have judgment. They, this person has now made up their mind as well. Yes, I want to be with you too. I want to do whatever it takes to make this work for us. Um, heart is the nine of cups. So yeah, look at that. In the mind, judgment, it's been determined. This person, I want to be with you too. It is my wish. It is my true desire. Like no matter what it takes. And um, in the soul, we have the Three of Wands. So, yeah, it's like I'm ready. I've waited for this, and now I'm sure, and I'm ready, and I want you. And so if you guys have been together, you know, this whole time, um, definitely one person was not fully invested or made a lot of stupid mistakes. And now coming into October, that's really changing, okay? And if that didn't happen... Um, prior to this relationship coming together, if it's a newer one, um, you both have been through quite a bit in past relationships and you're ready for this union, for this alignment between you and this person. It's like what you've wanted, what you've been asking for, okay? And um, so together, it's like things are finally starting to change and one person really wising up or a newer relationship. It's a, just a really good match and pairing of energy like very well aligned spirit did you a nice favor with this so let's pull some cards to see the other side all right oh yeah look at that in the mind ace of swords uh, this person in the reading is like infatuation, ace of swords, like this person is on their mind like big time, okay? Um, in the heart space, the hermit, but they, wow, they may not express it as much or this might be where they uh, finally come out with it with the hermit there, okay? It's like information that's been hidden and now look at this. At the soul, we have the lovers. Wow, Aries. Um, this person, there's no question in their heart, in their soul, in their mind. Like, they want this person forever, for always. On this side, again, I don't feel like the energy has always been as equally returned and invested. But now, coming into October, you know, just whatever's happened, whatever's changed in this person's life, now it is also their desire to be with this person and do whatever it takes to make it work. So, Aries, very beautiful read for you guys. Um, I get kind of scared because love readings can get pretty sad and, and nasty. Like, of all the readings I do, um, the love readings, if it's just not what somebody wants to hear, it really can make them sad, even though this is a general reading. So, but I'm not going to pretend like it's... There's not trouble if, if there definitely is, but uh, Aries, this is like you guys are turning the point around that. And um, with the cards out, could be a Gemini, uh, could be a Virgo. All right, so let's do some clarifying. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. There's some Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
Next out we have the Three of Swords. So, um, there's definitely been a lot of sadness and trouble that this relationship has been through, either together or prior to meeting up. And that's coming out under the Nine of Cups, and it's like the desire in this person's heart to really overcome the heartaches, the hardships, the sadness, the disappointments of the past, and do better, okay? So, wow, this person's really grown up, has really matured over the course of 2019, and now we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. So we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is a couple right here. <clears throat> All right, next out is the Four of Pentacles, and this is the energy that sits in between under Awakened Intimacy. So in this area, Aries, you guys are very compatible with each other, okay? Yep, because now look at this. We've got the uh, uh, Queen of Wands showing up under the Lovers. This person is so attracted to this person. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, because next out, look at this. We have the Devil showing up under the Hermit. They don't like on they don't let on how attracted they are oh no they don't and then look at this the three of pentacles under that ace of swords they this person thinks about this one all the time Aries whether this is you and this person is just got you sprung or this is you and this person like they are just wrapped around your finger however I don't feel they're letting on um, to the depth or degree in which they are connected and hoping for this right here, okay? Um, and it could be a number of different reasons. If this is a newer connection, then naturally people are more reserved and hold back their emotions a bit. If this is, you know, a long-term situation, a relationship that's coming out of some troubled times, um, I just, I don't know, like this person really, maybe they're just not super expressive in general, but um, there's a lot more beneath the surface than they let on, a lot more emotion and love and attraction and passion that they feel on the side. So Aries, overall message, um, definitely coming out of some troubled times. And through the process, it's not just like, oh, things are better. There's been a lot of growth and maturity that's taken place over the course of 2019. And now, you know, here we are in October and things are starting to shift. So let's pull some more cards. All right. So we have Mysterious. And we have second chances. Okay. Yeah. So Aries, that right there, you know, second chances is just my confirmation that, you know, this connection is two people that are overcoming a lot and have grown and matured and are making different decisions about life and about the relationship itself starting in October moving forward. Okay. And second chance is like another um, and the Ace of Swords right there, it's a new beginning, a clean slate. Things are different, all right? Um, now, if this is a newer person that you have met, I really feel that you both have been through some really bad relationships and have maybe decided I'm never going to get serious again. And now here you guys, you know, come together and meet and... Um, it's just like, oh my gosh, I'm totally feeling you. Now, with this mysterious coming out on the side, um, it makes a lot of sense how I feel that this person is not letting on to the depth and degree of their interest because over here on the side, it's like, I'm a little confused. I know this person likes me. I know this person is into me, but, you know, they could act maybe cold, aloof at times. Um, they're not... I don't feel like they express a lot like um, there are moments when they will like share their heart and soul but it, it's a very rare thing for this person um, this relationship this connection they feel over here with this person here is very sacred to them with the hermit it goes all the way down to the core of them I mean you got twin flame journey the lovers and the hermit there and, uh, you know, no matter how many times this person screws up, it's like, I will always give you a second chance. And maybe that's what they're trying to hide. Like, maybe they're trying to make this person work a little harder, you know, before they give in and go back to the way things used to be. Um, but nonetheless, you know, this person is like, you're all I want. I'll give you a million chances. And over here is like, you know, I really realize the error of my ways and I'm ready to change. I'm a different person 
and a new relationship that just meant you guys have been through a lot of heavy relationships in the past. This side looks like they've been single for quite some time. I just feel the connection's too strong and you guys are a very compatible match with each other and I say give in to the connection because we have the king and queen of pentacles that's a power couple okay so Aries those are your messages I'm wishing you all the best take care